It was some vlog on the street yet at night. Ah. Yep. Let's go to the chapel. <laughs> All right, good night. We're going to church. It's a tent. Yeah, it's a tent. So it's not like a building, it's a tent. So I'm going to look for my cousin first thing first. Arms that can't reach Where they want to Somehow make it Through whispered prayers Whispered prayers Right the window Holy angel Wait. With an iron no clothes. With a 
personal dress. But we wake up early Saturday morning. We come at church for half day. When church done, we gone back a party. Ouch! I'm say amen. I'm to come from Port Antonio. I lose me come from. Me not watch nobody. And nobody not tell me nothing. But me know I saw it hand. So before we talk to those who now observe the Sabbath as Sabbath, let me talk to those who should be keeping and not keeping it. Because there are many of us are uh, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, so we call ourselves up. Uh, and we think uh, because we come to church on Saturday morning, we are Seventh-day Adventists. We are Saturday keepers, but not Sabbath keepers. There's a difference between going to church on Saturday morning and keeping the Sabbath, my friend, is there's a difference so before I talk to those out there let me talk to those in the church first we got to do better step up with him ouch I need to say amen you hear what Isaiah says and if you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath the light, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, not finding your own pleasure, not speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. Am I talking to God's church here tonight? It's Bible. It's Bible. The Sabbath was instituted before the Jewish race came into being. And God did not restrict such a blessing to one nation. God invites everyone and everywhere to remember and keep the Sabbath day holy. Bible says Nobody else says so. said, everyone that keep the Sabbath, when I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joys of prayer. Yes, yes. For my call. A house of prayer. Yes. For all people. Yes. Yes. Hear the preacher tonight. Yes. Now we're in the Bible. The seventh day called the Sabbath of the Jews. It's a Sabbath for everybody. The Sabbath was made for man. And not man for the Sabbath. Am I talking to God's church here tonight? Yes. Ezekiel says up. All of my Sabbaths, that they will be a sign between you and I, that you may know that I am the Lord your God who sanctifies them. Here, I'll preach up tonight. I realize my time is going, and so I do part two on Sunday night or so. Here, the preacher tonight, the Sabbath was kept throughout the Old Testament. God proclaimed it. God sanctioned it. God said it. God kept it. And you know tonight, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I can follow the word of Almighty God. I'm so glad tonight that as I look up on the subject of the Sabbath and realize that you and I have a date with God. You know what I'm happy about? There are some people who say, Pastor, I don't need to keep it. I don't need to keep it well. I'll close by telling you this, that the Sabbath will be kept in the kingdom of glory. For my Bible says in Isaiah 66 and verse 22, Pastor, here, for as the new heavens and the new earth 
which I will make shall remain before thee, say the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain, and it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship me well tonight I'm done but I'm saying to God's people if you don't want to keep it that's your business but I know that the Sabbath kept on earth will be kept in heaven for Jesus says that from one new moon to another from one Sabbath to another hallelujah Praise God, what a reunion that will be when we get over the yonder. We shall keep, 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 we shall keep the sound of the old. I'm done tonight. I wish I had time. I wish I had time. I wish I had time. I'll share one more tonight. I'll touch one, one from the New Testament. Luke 4 verse 16. And he came to Nazareth. Where he had been brought up. Past the day. And as his custom was. You hear me tonight. It was Jesus' custom. It was Jesus custom and the Bible says uh, he went into the synagogue on Sunday on Sunday on Monday on Tuesday no he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read yes. oh, listen to me tonight I don't know about you tonight. But Jesus kept the Sabbath. Yes. And because he kept it. Who do you follow? Who is your example? Jesus. Maybe something like that tell you. Who changed the Sabbath? Now I'll tell you how they try to change it. I'll tell you how Sunday worship come about. You know, in the Bible. It's an in there and any Sunday worshiper tonight. You're under the tent. You know, I argue with you. But bring one Bible verse that will show that Jesus observed Sunday. All the apostles. <laughs> all the disciples, all the prophets, you know, in there. And I told you one night that they were asked the president how much money the crusade cost to run. But whatever the crusade costs, we give it that in a check. From Saturday to Sunday. Hear me tonight, church of God. Hear me tonight. The meaning of the Sabbath observance was demonstrated by Jesus. The followers of Jesus were at his death. In this crisis, Jesus' friends rested according to God's command, leaving the work of anointing his body after the Sabbath hours. And Luke says, and that day was preparation day. And the Sabbath drew on. And the women also which came with him from Galilee followed after. He held the sepulchre and his body was laid. And they returned and appeared spices and ointments. And they rested on the Sabbath day. Can I tell you here tonight that even those of us who don't believe in Easter and we talk about Easter so often even if we look at that pagan holiday 
You realize that Friday, a game says so, that Christ was crucified. They'll call it Good Friday. And he was raised on Easter Sunday. And they still don't know whether it's Sabbath day. So what happened to Christ on Sabbath? Can I tell the church here tonight that even in Christ's death, he rested on the Sabbath day. Even in Christ's death, he rested on the Sabbath day. Tonight I tell God's church, I don't know about you tonight, but the Sabbath must be kept. The Sabbath must be kept. Because God sanctioned it. Tonight I say to God's people, John 14 verse 15, if you love me tonight, keep my commandments. Not the commands of men, not the traditions of men. I spoke to you tonight from the word of God. From the word of God. From the word of God. Tonight, I'll tell you the truth of God. One day next week, I'll tell you why well, the Sabbath is so important. Because at the end of the day, it's a sign of loyalty. God created the Sabbath. The devil created. Of God, could you come, my friend? Could you come, my friend? So tonight, I ask a question. I ask a question here tonight. I ask a question here tonight. When you are dead to God. Just come, just come. Don't be shy. Don't